Hello there, back in 2012, LEGO released their first Old Republic sets and who knew it wouldn't have been the last, we're still getting somewhat them to this day, but the very first one released, going by set number 9497, before they switched to the 75 numbering system, which if you didn't know, all Star Wars sets since like 2013 have had 75 followed by three other numbers, you can check it out, it still works to this year. But LEGO released this Republic Striker Class Starfighter, which still somewhat holds up to date. You can see just how dusty mine is, as it's been on display for, well, 12 years almost. I probably got it in the start of 2013, so it's probably not been as long as 12 years. But 11 years is still quite long. It's held up. It's all in the old 2012 Dark Red, which if you didn't know... Dark red, not as bad as brittle brown as it's now known, but it is also a bit brittle like brittle brown. It's not as bad by any means, but over the years I've had one piece break, and it's actually this back left uh, one by eight red tile. I'm pretty sure it's a one by eight, and that's just snapped up the middle, so I have replaced it and. That's the only piece I've needed to replace. But of course, we've got the three minifigures behind me. We'll take a look at them just before we do the set. But I think it's overdue a clean. And as you can see, my old Republic minifigures right here at the front, they're the only three I have from that line. And I'd definitely like to get my hands on a few more, especially some of the troops to go with it, are the earliest chronologically in order minifigs from my whole Star Wars collection. So they're a very nice piece to have right at the front here next to my Young Jedi Adventures minifigures. And this minifigure on the right, I'm not sure of any of their names really, but the Jedi on the right does come with the dual-sided blue lightsaber, which is really cool. And back then I didn't have a Maul minifigure. In fact, I didn't have a Maul minifigure until I think 2019 was my first one with the Duel of the Fates. So for a full six years i didn't have a double lightsaber so this was a really cool piece to get and this clone in the middle is a very interesting character more like a bounty hunter by the looks but i wasn't a fan of this hair piece so i've actually been using this hair piece most recently for hauser and given him a more suitable hair piece i think now of course, the Lego one is what they had at the time. I'm not sure if this hairpiece was about, but I've actually given him Finn's hairpiece, which I think looks a bit better for this character and just fits a bit more with some of the other hairpieces. I do like this hairpiece on the Jedi here, and especially some of the details on the outfits for both of these at the time were quite nice pieces. And then we have the droid here. I believe it's the only minifigure lego minifigure scale droid that we've had that comes with a third wheel just on the back it's got a third wheel attached which is very nice for displaying it we haven't got it for any of the other droids but this droid is brick built in fact this plate on the front is a two by two printed plate i'm not going to be able to get that back on now but it is brick built some technic bricks holding up the legs and now it's back together I can show you just the detail on the dome. There's two dish pieces also printed alongside two pieces that you'll soon see in the cleaned up set. So a bunch of different printed elements. Back in 2012, it was lovely to get. And I feel like they really went all out at the time for these old Republic sets. So as I said, this set did retail in 2012. It actually came out the 1st of June, part of the June wave, which isn't bad for a June wave set and was on store shelves until the 31st of December 2013 so a year and a half it wasn't available that commonly compared to sets nowadays that last two three some even four plus years I mean look at the UCS sets they're on shelf for what feels like quite some time I'm pretty sure the UCS Falcon still is and that must be coming up to 10 years old, but it's got 376 pieces. Of course, you've seen the three minifigures and would have retailed for £40 or about $45, which, I mean, picking this up for £40, you're not going to be able to today. At the minute on Bricklink, it goes for about £120 new, which this did have a 10.6 pence per piece or 12 cents per piece 
price tag with it and now 30 odd pence per piece you could probably part it out if it weren't for these printed pieces at the front which i'm not quite sure how rare they are but they've not been used on any other set now as for the dimensions of this ship it's been quite nice to display it's quite a flat model which isn't always the best but it's quite a sleek model it's not as wide as the x-wing in fact it does look like just a glorified a-wing perhaps i should try and make this into an a-wing i think that would be really really fun i just got to be careful of as i said the brittle dark red but what you can do for this shuttle is actually flip open the wings and i know i called it a shuttle it's technically a starfighter and this does greatly improve the wingspan of the build you can then flip these parts forward which do make it look more like an x-wing with these end bits here in fact it's definitely taken some inspiration from a few different ships this is based off the ship from the old republic I don't think we really get to see it in Knights of the Old Republic, but the Old Republic MMORPG, which is a mass multiplayer game, which honestly to this day is still very, very fun to play. Definitely give it a search and check it out if you haven't already. This cockpit is also printed, but uses the hinges with the teeth, which means it's definitely a bit more difficult to open and close than the regular clip pieces that we're seeing today i believe this was the same for its time because my brother got the x-wing and that uses the same cockpit piece one of the early x-wings actually and the wings are on these hinge plates there's two hinge plates per wing i'll try and give you a close-up of that on screen now and in order to enable it to stay in or out you can see there's a clip piece here which matches up to this bar so if we unclip it from the back make sure we've spun this all the way back round and you can then clip that back in place and likewise at the back there is another white clip and red bar piece which goes in there now we do have i believe technically this was space for the double bladed lightsaber which as you've seen comes with the main character or the Jedi at least, I guess not necessarily the main character, it depends what you've picked, but definitely the main character for me of this set. And these flick fire missiles, the old type before we got the stud shooters clip just into the wing here. As you can see, there is a black 1x2 Technic brick with the two pinholes, and they go just through there, and then this axle at the back enables them to be fired out, and it's quite a fun mechanism, it's nice that they haven't just included these on the bottom and it doesn't work i'm afraid when the wings are put in but i guess it's not in attack mode so there's definitely some cool details in this shuttle i think you could get away with fitting too many figures in the cockpit piece here you've just got to lift up this controller piece sit one minifigure in the front one minifigure in the back and you can definitely make it work the controls in general are quite nice it's similar to what we see in the tie fighters recently with this one by two holding up some handlebars and a nice light which does make it quite accurate to the source material some controls on the left and right hand side and this was actually sold alongside another ship which was the sith fury class interceptor which load of people like fought that darth malgus minifigure and Honestly, I'm happy with this set. I would have loved to pick up the other one as well for Darth Malgus. It was one of three Sith Lords we now have. Over in 2012, they were the two Republic sets. And then we got a Battle Pack and a Cruiser in the following year, 2013. And they ran to 2014. And then for May 4th, 2014, we got this Darth Revan Polybag. And now, all the way in 2024, 10 years later... We've got a Darth Malak to go with him. So I don't see them making any more Old Republic sets because as Lego said for the creation of the minifigures for the 25th anniversary, they're doing minifigures that right now they can't fit into any sets. So it's a shame we're not going to see any more Old Republic sets because these were really cool. And as I said, I really like the feature of the wings here to be able to turn it into attack mode and perhaps you will see this become an a-wing very very soon but that is all for this video i hope you do enjoy drop a like if you do just to let me know and subscribe for more awesome lego content 
And as always, may the bricks be with you.